What's up, y'all? So I want to get on here and I want to talk to y'all a little bit. So for those who do know, I started social media like five or six years ago. I started out on YouTube, okay? And I decided to come to social media because I had it in my mind. I was like, you know what? It's a lot of things that I'm holding on inside. And I know this is very unhealthy. It even led me to unhealthy pathways, unhealthy habits. Because I always felt like I needed to hide my truth, my pain. And I always did that. I always ran away from myself as far as opening up and expressing what it is that I'm truly feeling and who have really hurt me. So I want to say something. People will get intimidated when you start to decide to, that you want to heal for yourself. People will look at your, your healing as um, intimidation to them because your healing is, is bringing, arising some truths in them. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah. I fucking struggle sometimes. Shouldn't nobody be embarrassed by my struggling because that's my story. Okay. Just like when I went through certain things in my life, the only person that was hurting, holding on to that was me. So people will get offended about your story and people will start gossiping. But only the only reason they are really gossiping about you is because your truth, your story is exposing their demons. Your truth and your story is exposing what they're not doing. Your truth and your stories is exposing their lies. So at the end of the day, I'm to the point in my life where my story and my life is just my story and my fucking life. And I'm not going to remain bullied to be silent by no fucking body. If I'm struggling, hell yeah, I'm struggling. Yes, I'm married. My husband don't work. If I'm struggling, I'm not going to be like this. And I'm not going to sit in here in this bitch and cry and wither and wait on no fucking body who watched me struggle. Do you understand? So I don't care who ever see me. If you ever see me out there having to hustle for my fucking children. Or whatever I have to do for my children. It shouldn't intimidate you. The only reason it's intimidating you is because you know that you watch me struggle with my kids. You know that. See, people are only intimidated by your struggles. It embarrasses them because of the shit that they not doing that they know that they could do for you and your family. People rather you remain silent. They rather you... Listen, people don't care when you don't know no better. When you don't know no better and you just allow yourself, because you don't know no better. We all been there. You allow yourself to tolerate anything. And you think what's real is, you think what's real is, is crazy. When you don't fucking know no better, people will be around you. They will smile in your face all fucking day. But when God start allowing you to heal and you begin to wake up, and you begin to know your truth and what you desire and your worth and your children's worth. People then be intimidated. People will try to make it seem like you crazy or something wrong with you. No, I'm not crazy and nothing wrong with me. I just don't have nobody to depend on, bitch. But you're not going to stop me from telling my story and my truth. This is my story and my truth. And I don't have no, I don't have nothing to hide. I'm not embarrassed about nothing that I went through, what God brought me through. What God brought me from, I'm not embarrassed by every, nothing that God has allowed. Listen, do you understand what I'm saying? Don't ever be embarrassed about your struggles. You, you open your mouth and you talk to people. You tell people. Don't sit in the house prideful because people ain't going to tell you, come on, baby, I got you. Come on, I got you. Hell no, nah, they're going to let you be right over there suffering and they're going to be talking about your ass. But as soon as you decide to heal and you start knowing better, Everybody want to call you crazy. They don't understand your story, but you deserve to heal. I deserve to fucking heal. And it took a lot for me to get here. And you know what I'm talking about? Being bullied to be silent. Protecting people's lives. Protecting what the fuck is really going on. Trying to cover that shit up. It ain't, it ain't nothing to cover up. This is the real truth. So at the end of the day, I wanted to say that because I would never be embarrassed about anything that I have to fucking do. Do you hear me? Now, the embarrassment comes when you say, I know her. Damn, you know her. You ain't helping her and her children. Damn, you know her. You sitting back and you walk. You, damn, she, she went through all of that and you ain't taking a load off of her. I would be embarrassed too. This ain't to hurt nobody. This is my story, my testimony, because don't nobody know me, baby. I was raised up north and I graduated in Mississippi. Don't none of y'all know me. If you do know me, it's because I have children by people that you may know. But other than that, my healing 
And my story and my trauma, my trauma started a long time ago, and I'd be damned if anybody silenced me from my truth. 